welcome back to my channel. Today I have my daughter Natalie in the kitchen with us. Hi guys. And together we're gonna be showing you how to make some delicious ribs with nopales and green salsa. So in case you guys wanna learn how we make this super easy and delicious recipe, just stay tuned and we'll show you how. All right guys, so let's get started with our ingredients. So for the recipe we're going to need two pounds of ribs, two pounds of nopales, 10 chile serranos, three Roma tomatoes, four tomatillos, one handful of cilantro, a half of a small white onion, four garlic cloves, chicken bouillon, and salt. So these are ingredients, now let's get started. All right, so first we're going to start by cutting our onion in half. Just fill your onion and wash it. All right, so next we're going to wash our tomatillos with the peeling, and then we're going to remove the peeling and wash the inside of the tomatillo. For the peeling, we're going to use it with our nopales. So just make sure you wash it and then remove it. Wash the inside. Wash it until you no longer feel the slime on the tomatillo. And then remove the peeling. All right, so next we're going to remove the stems from our chile serranos. All right, so now let's move to the stove. All right, so now we're going to grill our half of white onion, our tomatillos, our chile serranos, two garlic cloves, and three tomatoes. And three tomatoes. So we're just going to roast them. And this is going to be for our salsa. So once the tomatillos turn color, uh, we're going to remove them and put them in your blender cup. So the garlic are done, so remove them. Throw them into your blender cup. As well as the onion, so the onion's already soft. All right, so the chili serranos, I'm going to throw them in a bowl with water. So like that, it would be easy to peel them. And Natalie's gonna take care of that. Yeah. Okay, so you can start peeling them. And the tomatillos, as you can see, is starting to turn color. Take them out because you don't, otherwise, if you let them overcook, they're gonna have a bitter taste. So I'm just going to remove that one, put it in the blender cup. And I'm going to remove some of the roasting from the tomato. And you can throw your chile serranos in like that. Um, it's not gonna, you know, make a difference in the taste, but it's just going to have the little roasting peeling on your salsa which I'm okay with having a little bit, but not too much. So just put your chiles like that. All right, so in our blender, we're going to blend our tomatoes, tomatillos, chile serrano, our onion, and two garlic cloves, along with one tablespoon of chicken bouillon. a bunch of cilantro and one fourth of a cup of water. <laughs> all right, so we're just going to blend it all together until we have a smooth salsa. All right, so once everything is nicely blended, just set it to the side. All right, so now for our nopales. If you grow your own nopales, you're gonna have to peel them and remove the edge. Me and my local supermarket, all of all of the supermarkets around here, um, they sell them already peeled or in little bags like that. So in this little bag, it's four nopales. Okay, so now we're just going to cut them into little cubes like that. This is Natalie's favorite part. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're just going to cut them. You want me to show you? Yeah. Okay. So grab two, and then just cut them in little strips like that. Okay. 
and nopales are slimy. So we're gonna wash them and then boil them. Move most of the sliminess. Yeah, you see that? That's nopal. Okay, so then we so then you're going to flip it over. Okay. Okay. Just like that, flip them over and start cutting them in little squares. And my mom has her own nopales, but there's they're lacking vitamins or something. Okay. Right, so I'm just going to transfer them into my strainer because we're going to wash them. It's okay if it's like that. Yeah, it's okay. Okay, your turn. Okay, here we go. Take out one. Take out one. Okay. Mm -hmm. Just wash them real good. Try to remove as much slime as you can. It's okay if you don't remove all of it because it's going to come off once we boil them. And that's what the tomatillo leaves are for. All right, guys, so once we have washed our nopales, we're going to transfer them into a large saucepan. Okay. All right, so in the saucepan, we're going to add our four tomatillo leaves, our onion, and two garlic cloves, and salt. Now you don't want to add too much because our salsa still has the chicken bouillon. All right, so now we're just going to fill it up with water and then we're going to put it in the stove. All right, so set it on medium high heat and we're going to let them come to a boil for 15 to 20 minutes. All right, so now for our ribs, we're going to cut them individually with the bone. Just like that. So separate them. Okay, so once our ribs look like this, we're just going to season it with salt. All right, so now we're just going to wait for our nopales to come to a boil or finish cooking, and then we can move on. All right, guys, so after 15 minutes, this is what your nopales should look like. As you can see, they have changed color. So now we're going to turn it off, and we're going to drain them and remove the onion, the garlic, and the tomatillo leaves. Remove the onion, the garlic cloves, and the tomatillo leaves. I already removed three already. So I'm missing one. There it is. Found it. All right, so in a large frying pan, we're going to set it on medium high heat. And we're going to add some oil. And once that heats up, we're going to start placing our, our ribs. All right, so once the oil is hot, we're going to place our ribs. And we're going to cook them for a few minutes. And then flip them over and cook them for another few minutes. All right, guys, so after 10 minutes, this is what your ribs should look like. So now we're going to add our nopales. Now fry them together. So fry them for a couple more minutes. All right, guys. So after a few minutes, we're going to remove some of the oil. All right, so once we have removed most of the oil, now we're going to add our chile. So I'm going to grab about a quarter of a cup of water so I can use all the leftover sauce. Try to get everything. So now lower it down 
the heat to the lowest setting on your stove. Mix it all together. And now you want to try it for salt. Needs a little bit. Going to add a little bit of salt. Okay, get it all that. So now we're going to cover it and let it simmer for about 10 minutes. Okay, guys, so after 10 minutes, your ribs and nopales should be done. So now we're just going to turn it off. And now we are ready to serve. I okay, guess so here I'm going to serve it with some Mexican rice and some pito beans. I'm going to grab my ribs, my nopalitos. And of course, with some flour tortilla. I'm going to sprinkle some uh, queso fresco and now we are ready. Alrighty guys, and now for the best part. The taste test. I am so ready. Mm -hmm. So I got my tortilla here Me and too. my rib. And this is like my mom's favorite dish, let me tell you that. Yes. You dip it in your... Put away from me. In your cactus or nopales. Or aloe vera. It's not aloe vera. <laughs> she keeps saying that it's aloe vera, but it's not aloe vera. Aloe vera is the ones that we have outside. Um, for your face. Okay. Yeah, for your face. <laughs> Three. Are you ready? Yeah. Ready. Cheers. Cheers. Get the cactus. No. Try it. I already she tried, tried it raw, so I'm telling you. Uh, okay. Wait, can I put some? Uh, you can put the rice, the beans. I'm just I'm so ready. <laughs> <laughs> and then this, you guys, like my mom likes to eat the bone. Like she don't like to eat the bone, but she likes to go all around it. For yeah. me, I just grab like the meat and that's it, you know? Okay. Mm, so good. Okay. This meat is just delicious. I'm so sorry. Cheers. Okay. Mm. What? <laughs> it is really good. It's a little bit spicy though. It's a little bit spicy, but you can always cut down on the chile serrano or add more um, tomatoes. Mm -hmm. To me, this is just perfect though. Alrighty, guys, and there you have it on how we prepare some delicious ribs with nopales and green salsa. I hope you guys had enjoyed watching this video, and if you did, please don't forget to give us a big thumbs up, share it with your friends and family, and if you recreate this recipe, please don't forget to tag me on any of my social medias, and if you're new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button so you guys can be part of our family. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you guys in our next video. Bye. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, no, no. Eres perfecta mujer, de la cabeza a los pies, tú pasas de mi nivel, tú tienes el piquete, de la forma que tú besas mami, más simétrica que un origami, de la forma que tú besas mami, más simétrica que un origami, eres